Do you remember what it was like coming out? If you haven't come out yet, stay with me anyway. Um, I was going to film this tomorrow, but I went for a couple of drinks with some girlfriends and got a little bit tipsy and I want another drink, so I'm going to make a Negroni. Uh, so bear with me while I tell you my coming out story. I came out in the year 2000. I was 17. Um, I, sorry, I say I'm a lot. I was 17. I grew up in a family and a household that were outwardly very homophobic. My mum had a husband who was my stepdad who was incredibly homophobic. Also, don't shoot me for making a Negroni with uh, white vermouth. It's what I've got in the apartment. Um, he's the sort of person that when the Mardi Gras in Australia came on the television, he would turn the channel and say something like, shoot the lot of them. So I, I grew up in an environment where I did not feel that it was okay to be gay and to come out. Um, anyway, my, my mum and my stepdad broke up the same year that I came out. So that was a big thing. My stepdad was extremely um, abusive, uh, emotionally and physically, not sexually, uh, just physically and, and, and emotionally to both my mother and myself and to some parts my, my younger brother. Um, so I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't growing up in a, in a safe environment. Um, anyway, same year, my step, my uncle rather died of a heart attack at the age of 36. Um, and this was very early in the year uh, of my final year of high school. And my, uh, I, I, I don't know what was happening. I was struggling with my sexuality. I was dealing with my pet, my mother and stepfather's very physically abusive, um, split. Um, my uncle had died so young, um, I had a breakdown. So I ended up taking a lot of time off school in my final year because of, of that stuff. Um, anyway, during that breakdown, bear with, it's too loud to talk. Um, during that final year of high school, sorry, during that break, I ended up going one day to pick up my little sister from school with my mum and we're sat in the car and my mum says to me, is there anything that you want to tell me? And I looked at her and I was like, mm, no, why, what, what, what would I possibly have to tell you? I have nothing to say. And she says, well, you know that whatever you have to tell me, I'm going to love you no matter what. And I was like, mm, I don't have anything like typical 17 year old boy. I don't have anything to say, don't talk to me. Um, so we did this kind of back and forth for probably about 15 minutes. And eventually she said again, just know that I will always love you. You can tell me anything. Um, and I was like, okay, fine, I'm gay, are you happy? And she said, I know, and I love you, it's fine. Um, and she said, I was worried about you, I thought you were suicidal because you spend all your time in your bedroom. So I went to your high school and I spoke to your guidance counselor and I, I asked him, you know, what do you think is going on? And he said, I think Danny's struggling with his sexuality. So, you know, that's probably, probably the, the reason. Um, still good, even though it's white vermouth. Um, anyway, and, and that was that. And she just accepted who I was, which was amazing. Um, then <laughs> the, the, the only thing she said to me at that point in time, because my parents were young, right? My stepdad was 10 years younger than my mother. My mother is only 20 years older than me. Um, and you know, they were kind of growing up in a time where the AIDS epidemic was very prevalent and to be gay meant you were going to get AIDS and die. So the first thing my mother said to me was, I don't care that you're gay. I love you. I'm just so afraid that you will get AIDS and die, which is a story time for another day. Um, but, um, that was all she said. And I was like, thank you so much. I'm so relieved. And, and from that moment, all of the trauma of coming out and worrying about coming out dissipated and, and I was happy. Um, I hadn't come out to anybody else. I'd only come out to my mum and, and that was it. Um, then it was the school formal at the end of the year and I came out to all of my friends at the after party at the formal. And I was afraid of doing it because all of the guys, they used to like make all these jokes about being gay and it was bad and blah, 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 blah. And I came out and 
every single one of my friends was like, it's fine, man, we love you. Like, it doesn't matter. You're still Danny. Um, I mean, I got teased a lot at school about potentially being gay. Um, so I didn't want to come out for that reason. And they were all like, no, it's fine. We love you. Which is insane to me to think about thinking back. And then everything was cool. I mean, I don't really speak to most of them now, but you know, it's 24 years later, so they've all got their lives. Um, and then I hadn't come out. Then my mum kind of told people in my, on my mum's side of the family. The next day, my, she picked my brother and my sister up from school and my little brother, who was two and a half years younger than me, kind of ran in the house and said, oh, mum told me. I'm like, mum told you what? Mum told me that you're gay. And I'm like, well, if she told you, why are you whispering? It's like, oh, yeah, no, nah, it's cool, it's cool. Do you do bum stuff? <laughs> um, and that was that. And then my siblings were all fine with the fact that I was gay. Uh, then fast forward to the following year where I had my 18th birthday party planned and everybody that was coming that wasn't my dad's side of the family knew that I was gay. So I didn't want any of them finding out that I was gay during the party because I didn't want there to be like an issue. So I called all of my dad's side of the family systematically to let them know that I was gay before they came so that there wouldn't be any kind of issues. Um, and then eventually I spoke to my dad who I was really worried about because he's only 18 years older than me and you know, hadn't really seen that much of the world in the grand scheme of things. And I called him and he said, I don't understand it and I don't condone it, but I love you and you're my son and that is all that matters. And that was that. That was me out. And since then to now, at nearly 41 years old, I have had the love and support of all of my family. And I, I recognize and appreciate that I am extremely lucky and privileged to have a family and a, and a support group around me to have been so accepting for me to um to be who i am and i've always been able to be who i am with my family which is incredible um so i guess all i really want to say is if you haven't come out yet and you're worried maybe it won't be as bad as you think but if it is know that it will get better and eventually you will find your chosen family who will love you no matter what.